RobinBremer.net is my website, my blog, where you can get an outline of these scriptures. Um, I want to share with you something that probably will annoy some of you. <laughs> and I can't help it as God gives me these revelations and these truths about His Word. I have to share it. And of course, I'm not the only one that has this revelation, but when it becomes real to me, I, I like to share it. Um, and one of the what he's showing me, what what he showed me is when we begin to think that our behavior gets us into heaven, or our behavior keeps us out of heaven, then we're thinking of ourselves as God, because. The only thing that can get us into heaven is not right behavior, good behavior, or obedience. But the only thing that can get us into heaven is only one sin keeps us out of heaven. And that sin is not receiving the free gift of Jesus. And let me explain that. There's only one sin that sends us to hell. There's only one sin that after we're saved... There is no sin that would send us to hell. It'll kill us, but not send us to hell. Because the one sin that sends us to hell is that we haven't received the free gift of Jesus Christ. And what that means is, man was put on this earth to have sub subdue and have dominion over all the earth. Because Satan was kicked out of heaven, he came down to earth, and he wrecked it all up and made a mess of it. So God made man in his likeness, sent him down to earth, told him to have authority and, and subdue in the Garden of Eden, which they didn't do. They let the devil um, take their authority and dominion by obeying the devil. They became in the likeness of the devil. By by one man's disobedience, the whole, everybody seed was in that one man because one man produces another man, a man, a woman, a man, a woman, whatever. So everybody was in there. So the whole human race fell because like begins like. And because Adam fell, the whole human race fell. We were all born sinners because Satan is our father if we're not born again. Satan, when they obeyed Satan, he became the father of, of, of everyone born after that because they became underlord to Satan. And Satan now took man's place of authority and dominion, running and ruling the earth, what man was supposed to do. That's why there's all destroying weathers and all kinds of nastiness. Okay, sickness, disease, poverty, lack of fear, because Satan is running the world, not God. But Christians are supposed to be running the world, and where Christians are running the world, things are changing. But let me get back to it. Okay, so, um, man, man, God gave man dominion on this earth, and because he gave man dominion on this earth, only a man could uh, run this, only a man could legally run this earth. So, when man sinned, the blood was required of them to pay the price of the sin. <coughs> so, God made a covenant with Abraham and several other people, and the covenant gave our weaknesses for God's strength, and it made us partners, and it made us, oh, it made God so He could legally send Jesus in the form of a man who put aside all His godly attributes and became a man and lived as a man, not from the seed of man, but from the womb of a woman and the seed of God. He became our, uh, he became a man, put aside godly attributes, and he lived on earth as a man like we were intended to live back in the garden. And he didn't sin, and the Holy Spirit was on him and in him, helping him as a helper like he is us. Okay, so Jesus obeyed all of the rules in the covenant, in the Jewish covenant. Jesus obeyed every one of those rules because when a sacrifice was offered for breaking those rules, the sacrifice had to be perfect. So Jesus became that sacrifice that died for everybody in the covenant. And we become Abraham's seed. And because we're Abraham's seed, Jesus is also our sacrifice. And instead of us paying the price for our sins, we couldn't because we aren't perfect. We're sinning, so we need a substitute. So Jesus was our substitute. And he paid the price for all of our sins. And only a spotless, perfect blood sacrifice could do that. That had never sinned. And so that was Jesus. So that's why 
you have to receive that gift of Jesus paying the price for our sins by his blood instead of our blood because ours isn't perfect he paid the price for that sin therefore we become born again and God becomes our father so I don't remember what I started in this videotape <laughs> but um, anyway when God's seed is in us when we become born again we begin to act right so to summarize is we don't get to heaven because of our right behavior our wrong behavior uh, because of our disobedience or our obedience what decides whether we get to heaven or hell is by receiving that free gift that sacrifice and then because we receive that free gift and gift in our sacrifice then we the result will be right behavior uh, the result will be right believing and so on so my name is Rob Freeford.net is a website and I hope I haven't gone on too many rabbit trails and I've given you more understanding